alikuwa amezimba vitu ambavyo ilikuwa vinapendeza sana na vitu hivi ambavyo vilikuwa vinapendeza sana ilikuwa ni pamoja na mwanadamu mwanadamu alikuwa amepangiwa aweze kuishi miaka ya milele alikuwa amepangiwa aweze kufa alikuwa amepangiwa aishi milele lakini ikatokea kitu ambacho mpaka sasa hivi tunajiuliza kwa nini aliweza kufanya hivyo Adamu akapewa kikumu na Mungu aweze kuchagua na kitu ambacho aliweza kuchagua ni kitu kibaya sana kwa sababu unapoangalia hapa mbele yetu kuna jeneza na hapo ndani kuna mwili wa mtu ambaye alikuwa hai wiki moja uliyopita lakini sasa analala bila uhai na unapoangalia na kuna mtu ambaye anakaribia hata wale ambao wametaka karibu naye mnapata kwamba mwana yeye wapo ndio ndio mwa jenerali yeye alikuwa mwana mchata watakotelea kuchata kwa hiyo so Mungu alikuwa amepanga kwamba kila kitu ambacho alikuwa amekifanya aweze kuwa vema sana lakini kuna kitu ambacho kiliweza kutenganisha mwanadamu na umbilele wake na kitu hicho ni dhambi kitabu cha mwanzo tatu, mstari wake wa kwanza kuna kitu ambacho kiliweza kutokea ikasema namna gani unapoangalia hongo hilo unapata kwamba kuna nyoka pale ambaye tuliambiwa kwamba alikuwa mtanganyifu sana kwa wanyama wote ambao Mungu alikuwa ameumba nyoka alikuwa mtanganyifu sana natachua nyoka huyu ni nani lakini hata angalia sana leo kitu ambacho nataka niweze kuangazia ni kwamba aliweza kumongelesha mwanamke alipomongelesha mwanamke akaweza kuuliza je Mungu aliweza kusema kwamba msile kila tunda ambalo liko katika shamba la Eden yule mwanamke akamwambia hapana hapana alituambia tuweze kula matunda yote lakini kuna moja ambaye aliweza kutokataza alipoambia hivyo akasema kwa nini swali ni kwa nini ndipo unapata mwanadamu mpaka saa hizi anauliza maswali unapomwambia kwamba kitu hiki ni kibaya anakuuliza swali kwa nini unapomwambia kwamba usipita hapa anakuuliza swali kwa nini kwa nini hiyo haikuanza leo ilianza tangia wakati wazazi wetu wa kwanza walipoongea pamoja na yule yoka akaanuzi uliza swali hilo kwa nini yule mwanamke akamwambia kwamba tukikula tutakufa akamwambia amutakufa mtakapokula mtafanana na Mungu na je kweli wanafanana na Mungu kitu ambacho tunajua kwamba ni kwamba wakati walipokula tunda hiyo kitu ambacho kilifanyika ni kwamba walichipata kwamba walikuwa uji na unaposoma biblia mzima unapata kwamba walikuwa uji lakini hawakuwa wanaogopa kwa sababu utukufu wa Mungu ulikuwa mwafunika lakini walipokula lile tunda yule mwanamke pamoja na mumewe wakajiona wako uji na wakaanza kutoroka wakaenda kujificha So ninaona watu ambao wanatambia uji wakikimbia ndani ya matawi wakikimbia ndani ya msitu kutafuta matawi ya kufunika uji wao dhambi ikaleta shida dhambi hiyo ikaleta shida shida hii ambayo tunaangalia mpaka sasa ni dhambi iliyo ingia katika dunia hii kupitia kwa ile mwovu shetani iliyofanya wazazi wetu wa kwanza waweze kuwazi Mungu na ikafanya wasazi wetu wa kwanza waweze kufa. Unapoingia katika kila boma unapata kwamba kuna kaburi. Na kaburi hiyo ni kwa sababu ya dami. Iliyofanya wasazi wetu waweze kufa. So unaporuka hapo unapoenda kitabu cha Muhubiri. Muhubiri saba mstari wake wa 29. Kuna kitu ambacho inasema. Muhubiri saba mstari wa 29. Inasema namna gani? Kama umefika pale. 
Sabah Şirinatı Sağ. Sabah Şirinatı Sağ. Kume, mungu alipo mungu mwanadamu akaweza kujitavutia vitu gen katika dunia hii ni vitu gani cha alimuumba mwanadamu kamili akampatia nafasi ya kuishi milele akapatia nafasi ya kuwa na furaha na kitu ambacho aliweza kuchagua ni kitu gani aliweza kuchagua kitu kibaya ambacho ni kifo magonjwa shida taabu mpaka sasa hivi tunaomboleza mpaka sasa hivi tunalia kwa sababu tumepatana na shida ambayo mwanadamu aliweza kujitafutia lakini Mungu hii haikuwa wazo wake wapate alikuwa jambo ambalo alikuwa na wazia kumpatia mwanadamu alikuwa mpango wake lakini shetani akaja na akavuruka jambo hilo akaweza kumpatia kando na kupatia kuwazi Mungu aliweza kupatia kitu ambacho kinaitwa kifo usuni shida taabu magonjwa na hayo yote yanatandama mpaka sasa hivi lakini tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo ambaye aliweza kuja katika dunia hii ili aweze kutukomboa kitabu cha Warumi tano nataka uanzie mstari wake wa nane Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo. Yesu Kristo aliweza kuja na alipokuja akaweza kufanya jambo la maana sana. Akaweza kufanya namna gani? Romans 5:8. Warumi 5 mstari wake wa 8. Yasema namna gani? Pamoja wa dhati ile. Ehe. Pamoja wa. Ago iberu 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 ile acha Jehova chamani ki amunya ki tako ki kitenge ki ni Mama Kristo kwa yeye. So jambo ambalo la ajabu ambalo Mungu aliweza kutenda tena ni kwamba aliweza kutoa mwanao wa pekee ambaye ni Yesu Kristo. Tumbali tulipokufa katika dhambi. Tukiwa tunaendelea kufa katika dhambi, Yesu Kristo katika upendo wake aliweza kuja ili aweze kutukomboa katika mauti hii. Sasa wakati huu wote tunalala. Tukingojea siku ambayo Yesu Kristo atakaporejea tena mara ya pili. Alikuja mara ya kwanza ili aweze kutukomboa katika dhambi. Na alipokufa na akafufuka. Akafufuka pamoja nasi. Wote ambao watamwamini. Maisha yao yamefika pamoja na Yesu Kristo. So mtu yeyote ambaye anataka kuishi milele tena anatafuta nafasi katika Yesu Kristo. Na nafasi hii inapatikana kwa kuamini tu. Unamwamini Yesu Kristo ili uweze kuwa na upendo huu. So, upendo huo tulioonyeshwa kwa Yesu Kristo aliweza kufa kwa ajili yetu. Ili tufanye namna gani? Endelea fungu la 9. Ila sema namna gani? Endelea kusema hivi. Eh, akasi ile hii ile hii ile hii ile So, na muhimu sana tuweze kuelewa jambo hili. Ni kama muamini tunahesabiwa haki. Katika damu yake. Tuahesabiwa haki katika damu yake. Ili tuweze kuwa na nafasi tena ya kuishi milele. So, hiki kifo ni cha muda tu. Na tujui ni muda kiasi gani lakini tunajua ni ya muda tu itafika wakati ambapo Yesu Kristo atakuja wote ambao walimwamini wote ambao walikubali kuwa wakofu wa maisha yao watapata nafasi ya kuishi tena milele katika mpango ule wa kwanza wa Mungu ya wanadamu kuishi milele atakufa tena so itafika wakati ambapo tutavuvuliwa na tuweze kuishi pamoja na Mungu milele na milele kitabu cha 
Yona, tano mstari wake wa 28 na 29. Ndio. Echuno. 5 28 na 29. Inasema namna gani? Uh, <laughs> Msistajabu hili kwa maana kuna siku ambao wote walio kaburini watasikia sauti yake ehe inaendelea kusema namna gani hapo mwa hapo mwa hapo mwa hapo mwa hapo mwa hapo so ni kwamba kutatokea siku na siku hiyo ni siku ya kurudi kwa Yesu mara ya pili wote walio kaburini watasikia sauti yake na watakufuliwa watakapovuliwa wala ambao walitenda mema watamvuka na waweze kuwa na uzima wa milele lakini wote ambao hawakupokea Yesu Kristo watamvuka waweze kuingia katika mauti ya milele na hiyo ni uchaguzi ambao Mungu ameweza kumwachia mwanadamu una nafasi ya kuchagua sasa. Na ukiwa na nafasi, tumia nafasi hiyo kwa njia inayofaa. Uweze kuchagua kuishi tena maisha ya milele. Na kuchagua hiyo ni kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo. Unamkubali Yesu Kristo naye atakuongoza ili uweze kuwa na uzima wa milele. Pasipo Yesu Kristo hatuwezi kupata uzima wa milele. So tuna nafasi sasa ili tuweze kuwa na uzima wa milele kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo wote ambao walikubali waliitwa wana wake so mpendwa nafasi yako sasa kuchagua David tamemaliza mwendo wake na alimaliza mwendo wake akiwa amefanya uchaguzi wake na uchaguzi huo ni Mungu peke yake anajua na zingine tunasema kwamba yeye alikuwa Mkristo kumbe amefanya uchaguzi wake so amefanya uchaguzi wake na uchaguzi wake umefungwa na anamwachia tu kufunguliwa siku Yesu Kristo atakaporejea je wewe ulie hapa ambaye amepewa nafasi ya kuchagua ukiwa bado na usima ukiwa bado na uhai ukiwa bado uko na afya nzuri chagua uweze kumtumikia Mungu ili itakapofika siku ya kulala kwako kwa sababu wote tunajua kwamba tutalala Hakuna hata mmoja hapa ambaye atasema kwamba nitaishi. Tuseme miaka mia moja kutoka sasa. Sijui ni wakati watakuwa. Miaka mia moja kuanzia sasa. Wakati watakuwa hai wakati huo. Miaka mia moja, ongezea ile ambayo uko nayo. Kuna yule ambaye atasema kwamba atakuwa hai. Kuna mzee mmoja aliniambia sasa mtakufa wote litawalika mimi nitabaki peke yangu. Na wengi wamekufa. So, jinsi zote tutakufa. Kama Yesu Kristo hata atakuja baada ya miaka 100 kutoka ndani. Jinsi zote tutakufa. Atakuwa. Na bila pia atakaa. Lakini je, uamuzi wako sasa? Uamuzi wako sasa. Itategemea kama utapata uzima wa milele ama utakuwa kati ya wale ambao watahukumiwa so mpendwa uko na nafasi ya kuchagua tena kuchagua uweze kufuata Yesu Kristo ili uweze kuwa na utumwa wa milele uweze kufuata maagizo ya Mungu ya hapo mbele ya kuwa na damu hata ikiwa bila so tuko na nafasi ya kuchagua sasa mpendwa tunapoenda kumaliza nataka tusome huko hili kitabu cha Daniel wa kwanza ni mstari wake wa 13 nasema 
Lakini leo hii leo mgeni wa kwanza ataondoka hapa saa tisa. Mgeni wa kwanza ataondoka saa tisa. Wa mwisho mpira ataondoka saa tatu usiku. Lakini kesho mtabaki familia peke yao peke yao. Mtabaki peke yao hapo. Kwa sababu shughuli imekuwa mingi, basi imekuwa mingi. Lakini tutawakikia kwamba mimi nawakikia kwamba mtamuona mtu ambaye atakuja moja moja tu. Lakini baada ya mwezi mmoja kila mtu atakuwa na shughuli yake. Lakini Yesu Kristo atakaa pamoja nanyi milele. So nataka mkuja hapa mbele ili tuweze kuwaweka katika mkono wa Mungu. E, naomba mkuja hapa mbele. Ili tuweze kwamba pamoja Okay, nimeona Elda John Mutai. Naomba ukuje hapa mbele. Elda hile. Naomba ukuje hapa. Mtu. Natumai. Ana dia familia. Ibinia family. So, naomba mpatie microphone jo. Okay, na, naomba uweze kuchukua nafasi ya kwanza uweze kuweka jamii hii mikononi mwa Mungu ili Mungu aweze kuwafariji aweze kukaa pamoja nao awalinde ili nafasi ambayo Beli tamewaka, mungu wawese kujasa tengo hilo. So, mbojia tukua na wawese kumika. Eee. Mika, kutaka wata mwata ni mwata ni mwata. Mwata ni 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 mwata Hello. Okay, can I ambaye ametuwezesha kuwa katika nyumba hii. Na tunapoaga 
incidentu na toa shukrani kwa nafasi ambayo ulimpa ili aweze kuwa na familia hii na toa shukrani papa kwa sababu ya ulimpu wake katika maisha yake na wakati huu tunapo aka yeye tunaweka mikononi mwako familia hii najua mama uh, wa David najua manduku zake dada sake na hasa familia yake akiongozwa na Esther Papa, uweze kuwa pamoja nao. Uweze kuchenga familia hii. Uweze kukuza na uwe. Uweze kushika mikono yao. Ili wasione pengo na kipekee ambayo David amewacha. Pali upatie nafasi ya kipekee. Waweze kutukuza na kuona wewe katika wakati umukumu. Na saidi papa, ututayarishe kama familia. Ili tutakaporechea, utakuwa tayari kukumlaki. Efu fanya mapenzi yako tangu sasa hati milele kwa sababu tumeweka katika jina tumeomba katika jina lake Yesu aliye mwana na mkombozi wetu amen pamoja na hayo Mungu waja mbele zako na wimbo wa shukrani ni nafasi ya kipekee ambayo tunakabidhi jamii hii mkononi mwako uweze kuwaongoza wote uweze kuwafariji ili pengo ambalo David aliwacha kuweza kuacha uweze kujaza kwa njia kipekee Mungu wetu unajua jamii yake mke wake pamoja na watoto wake uweze kuwaongoza kwa njia kipekee Mungu wetu ili baba uweze kwa mfariji wa kipekee waongoze na walinde hebu chochote ambacho watahitaji kulingana na mapenzi yako uweze kuatimizia mama yake David Sibora na mkabidi mkononi mwako ili uweze kumwongoza ili umri wake uweze kumsidisia ili akae kushauri watoto wake aweze kuwaongoza wote waweze kujua jina lako kuna ndugu zake pamoja na watoto wao naomba uweze kuwaongoza hata nao uweze kuwafariji uweze kuwaongoza Mungu wetu wapate kukutambua waweze kukutegemea hasa wakati mhumu mgumu katika maisha yao hebu walinde na saidi hayo Mungu wetu waweze kuwa na upendo na umoja kupitia kwa jina lako. Hebu mapenzi yako yatendeke sasa na hata milele kwa maana tumeomba katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mwombezi wetu. Amen. Okay so huwa ni mapenzi mapenzi ndio hivi. Hapo tawaondoka. So wacha nipate kwanza. Kwa sababu the next thing in the direction to do. Oh no. Yes yes. Yeah. Kwa utaratibu ambao tuko nao ni ya kwamba nafasi ya familia lakini siku na mwezi wa baada kwa nataka kutoka uzozo tu anataka kesi kwanza ndio watu wapatie nafasi aende kusema ni moja alafu tawaita tena sasa ni kwani wao ndio nini kama wao kwa hapo kitu sasa tutaja kule kwa Mjambo wa safari wa mbinguni. Mjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Asifiwe tena. Amen. Salamiane kwa hewa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bas, naamini familia. Utanisamea kidogo nimefunja program. Kwa sababu ku, bado kuna mahali nakimbia. Na wageni kutoka Nairobi na kuna mkutano kidogo. So nimeomba na mtani uya radi kwanza kabisa nimejiunga nanyi siku ya leo kutoa pole zangu ya familia yangu na wadi kwa ujumla pamjane na watoto wako mama sibora na familia yako wote kafsi hii kwa ujumla ya hii yote kwa makanisa kwa wageni wetu walio hapa walio wa karibu na wambali poleni sana tumepoteza rafiki yetu kijana wa area hii watoto wake wamepoteza baba yake mama amepoteza mume wake mama amepoteza mtoto wake poleni sana david tulimjua na wengi wetu hapa mnajua yeye ni mpole 
mtu mtulifu team player kwa village na kwa safari yake imefika hapa tunasema pole kenye tutasema ni kwamba tunawaombea tuna familia wote tunawaombea vile mhubiri amesema tunawaombea mukae na mtegemee Mungu mjane na familia mshikane pasta ana nimesikia hivi karibuni tutakuja kufanya eh, program ya kuchenga kanisa hapa amen na niko tayari tuunga, sisi zote tuungane because tunataka area yetu hapa zote ibadilike familia ibadilike na zaidi ya yote ni sisi tuwe ready Yesu atakaburuti mara ya pili tuwe tayari eh marehemu alikuwa na marafiki wengi tumeona marafiki kutoka relatives kutoka Belgium familia ya NHC kiongozwa na rafiki yetu ngei na wengine na marafiki kutoka mbali na area hii yote asante kwa kuja tumsindikize ndugu wetu eh ya tatu ni kwamba sababu saa hii tumeambiwa tuzizeme mengi hata mambo ya program ya maendeleo sitasema sana lakini nikiwa MCA wa area hii nasema program ya county inaendelea iko pasa hii ya fashion uh, scholarship ya watoto ya secondary school na kuna ya colleges na university muisichase mambo ya maendeleo inaendelea na tutakuja kufanya uh, mkutano ili duape vile tunaendelea tunaendelea tuki, kwa wakati mgumu sana uchumi ni mbaya corona iko pande hii atutembee vile tulikuwa tunatembea zamani atufanye biashara vile tulikuwa tunafanya zamani tumuombe Mungu ifungue inji na zaidi ya yote tuweke tunataka amani ninyi wote mlio hapa Munaona siku hizi wanasiasa tumeambiwa tusiongee. Munaona vile tunafurushwa pande hii na pande ile. Lakini ninataka kuasi na kuwaomba tukae kwa amani. Hata yale mambo munaona mengi yanaendelea. Ni kwa sababu watu wako na nia yao na mpango yao. Lakini sisi tukiwa wakaaki na watu ya Kenya tuweke amani. Tuweka amani kwa kila Tuweka amani kwa biashara, kwa mikutano zetu, kwa makanisa yetu, tuweke amani na watu tukae pamoja. Tumuombe rais ajue yeye ni rais. Asiche akaweka inji matata. Tumuombe mkiwa kanisa, tumuombe rais. Sina jua unajua ukiwa kiongozi, ukiwa MP, ukiwa governor, ukiwa MCA, ukisingiriwa na watu wabaya decision utafanya mabaya so tumuombe tumuombe deputy president anapitia mengi na makubwa tumuombe usiku na mchana ili apate amani kwa roho yake na apate ulinzi kutoka Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hivyo huje ke onge sawati nemi onge sawati ni president siku na ngo ni president Amungu tera bani kibenti ko mucho ko bareni ongi macha amani Kiso chini ko rabi ke bure ko nai golle tinye nafasi ko ribeme Onge so chini deputy president Amungu ne chengwa ne na ko chi eji Lakini ne macha amungu ko ngo ya mungu to no sa ko to no si gila Kinge ge lo ko ko ki eji ora fulani ele que essa vitória de do presidente tudo no rei só vem para agora só o o bilbi mas o não não mas é o que o ataque é pior mas o que vem de direito não 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 a mungu que ele me mungu a quem que ele eu que vem de com a água lou é nada com lou yes o que tu me chama mani o que o bruto tem que nem ir o que só chega aí o que só chega a tudo minha levada é para andar em o mundo vai ir né os arab cabro Ungezo jin family anoto, ungeri kora korona, 
Chinga de Negele Kirive, a Migi Wagu, Age Moy. What about Nandi Wagi? Nanaka Kanisa. Get him Taga, my you are. One, for all Nandi, only think of me getting down my yoga on the Tandy. Would you give my yako? Get Kanisa, Kagar Kanisa. So Migo Rasiasa. Only Riva for Corona. I can I get a little Siasa. <laughs> Ogera step to logo zere mati jundi vi step to ni pariki wa kona waskiana warembo na ni ni vijana wa apa muna ka atunde ovanga ni ni bago bongo ami kwa na una kwe kima la bago ngete na no yes bago ngete na no kumtu ya ba kwe kwe ne zimugiz ai ni kipari ni kwe kete GCT kwe kwe matenda kwe kwe aya ai ni kalo ngo ya ni kona mara bluto kuma free swama ne tapo university. Oh, me thing in the moon. Okay, send me a machina na ito ang mga chance lang at MCA wire yahi. Lagi ni kwa china si Asan, mga mga nyesha. Ako si Grenore. Yaka ang kaptoli. Ano nga barangwe? Ati jowi di kopti di kagin na. Kung kaya si kung kaya ni tinet kaya di ba kapila nito? Kung kaya John akaya mo pa rikiw. Asan de sana? Okay. Asan de sana mo isipin mo? kwa So Magizo ya serikali inafaa tuwe watu miya moja kwa hii leo na mkiandalia tumezidi. So tujaribu kutumia muda mpupi uweze kanabi. So napatia bursa hii, sosa bet, aweze kuintroduce family members. Wapi, wapi, sanitari. I'm Tango, I'm Boletagi, and Tango. We got to go for Sahi, introduce family Yetu, Namina Umba, 
So we shall be represented by a few members as a family. Kwanza ningependa kuita mzee wetu baba Joseph Rugut ambaye Mungu amemsaidia pata ako nasi hapa. Huu mzee ni ndugu ya James Rugut. 
So, nataka aseme machache. Na nitacharibu kutafiri hata badai kusama rikia. Sante sana. Nina mwa wanyo kia nivyo. Ane madana nga nala. Waa mamu. Angwa kitini ya wala mangete. Nina mwa wanyo kia nini. Amwa mungkia. Enda ya vituruji. Muta kwa pesa. Awa le ni abu yagi tikyo. Mato tuwa ngeri bita ngeri bita. Mwa kia mwite. Wanyo ni kimula. Mwa mwita. Mwa mwiki na kia. Wa le kuni. Pia mwa nase. Mwa le kwa jata wala. Nda ki mwa kia liya na. Nina kwa mwa. Amwa jini wongo ila kwa. Wongo yi babu wangu. Nwa babu wanga. Wongo esta. Wamu aku aku lapan. Nampak, kau yang bojo tangan dia bojo tu. Ada si, ni dia David. Tu tu apa? David kau nak aku? Ibu ni dia. Dia ni nara bi. Ibu dia aku. Mari tarik ni mars. Ame ni aku. Ibu ni kau nampak aku. Ibu ni aku. Oh tiada kan? Kami. Wangku apa aku? Abu aku. Abu tak cakap aku jinak dia. Mato nama dia jang. Wangku apa sih? Mau yang mana nak buat rumu? Asam desana, belum sih. Oh putih, belum sih. Nanti ribu bersama. Nanti sama ni syukran. Soal familia. Nanti ibu saya kira mutu. Nanti ibu saya nanti jambo. Nanti sama tu tu dia ni. Nanti syukuru. Jangan esta. Waktu lete waktu tua ke? Baik, wana itu mesti babu. Na nasema ya kwamba karibu nyumbani. Hao watoto ni waiboma. Kasi yenye iko hapa uendeleze. Tuko na shamba, mnajua huku ni area ya kupanda chai sana. So vile mzee amesema David Telet alikuwa mkulima. Ukiangalia hapo juu kuna chai mingi, muangalie pande hii. Iko maendeleo kadhaa ilikuwa inaendelea hapa. Iko maneno ya ngombe na kadhalika. So amesema kwa ufupi hasta usimalize miezi tatu wewe umekimbia. Kushikilia mkono mahali David ameachia. Na pia watoto wawe ni uwe mnafika nyumbani kila mara kwa mara. Asante. Ningependa pia kuita mama mzee Sibora ambaye ni mama wa David ambaye ni kuwaji. So Sibora. Maitu ya. Amaje. Kure. Mutu ni polo polo. Yoni nye mutu. Amaje wa wangu. 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 Wana. Awa ni wa mama wetu. These are the parents. Eh? The mothers to the late David. Tunataka tuwapatie nafasi. Tuwambolese mtoto yao. Karibu mama, karibu. Ufupi mama anasema ana ngubu ya kuongea sana Lakini jambo ametuambia ni kwamba pole pole kwa clan mzima ya Tafsegit. Na tunakuambia mama pia pole. Tunajua uchungu wa kupoteza mtoto. Pole pole sana. Hasta. Mwikia David pole kabisa. Pole la kwa. Uchela la tate. 
So, Nikitoka kwa wasasi, amache chia genge, enkaba mkonye reyo. Agonye chia enkara moya genge. Angena lagi jang, lagi nye, nipati mkumoja. Bio mbio, chia naka japchepe, siku itiru. Kara moya, kara bet, aga maje Jackson Guril, perpresenten na wa antit. Mwarakisha da badalia. Ah, karibu tarehe. Ah, mimi nasema pole sana. Um, kwa familia yangu hiyo. Kwa niaba ya watu wa Sikwa Wito hii na Belgut. Ah, uh, nimekuja hapa kuleta rambi rambi sawa sababu au kufuata na pass ile kitu nilikuwa nataka kusema kuwa Esther wapi Esther ani wewe patale asisi wewe kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani mzizi tunakuja kukukaribisha wewe na hapa ni nyumbani nimepata rapoti kwamba watoto walipoona huyu wa Teddy jana waliapa kushangaa kwamba huyu hata sio baba yao sababu wamekaa muda mrefu sana hata ukiwa kuwa nafanya kazi na yao na hapa ni nyumbani
Hmm? Atau gue kopi ya. Ada ni ni. Aso, ayam yang dapat saya kena, sama macam bola, esta, and family ni ni. Mama ni nyon, ini ni bola. Abi kan, semua bola kat sini dia. Nampak ni, ko mabul ni ni ni, kita ni dapat saya kena. Kau mahu ini family ya, David? I know some of you. Muka karib dengan bad. So don't go far. At least once in a while, move up. So come on, now the karib dengan bad. No, you learn with your body. Yang kau ini on David, Wingen, kita punya ni ni, ni tarawan sixteen ya. Kita learn with your body. Santa Sana, Pole too. I have more to put it in them. And the same for David. I took one of us who to put a dish a hopper, while they are planning a cockadel. The same for the sun. Kole ni sana familia hii yote kwa ya kapsegiti kwa chumula. David, mekua na kutu wangu muda mrefu. Kuwa na kuchanga wa hapa wakati mwingi. Ila tu juzi, hii maneno ilipotakasea siku wesa kuja. Tulikuwa na mambo kama haya, enye lifanyika huko transparent. So ikawa ngumu kucha hapa kwa wangu. Lakini nasema mambo ya polis, pole ni sana. Watoto wa David, dunia ni kutulia. Ile inapake kwa sisi zote ni kushikana mkono na kuomba Mungu atusaidie. Atupatie akili na nguvu ya kufanyia watu wengine kazi. So naamini ka Esther na kuomba tu ufanye ile naitwa time management. Upange namna ya kuendeleza shughuli hapa na pia upate namna ya kuendeleza shughuli ya kutafuta riziki kwingineko. Otherwise nakutakia mema watoto wetu mnakaribishwa nyumbani wakati mwingi. Kama inawasika mungu wa kibutubatia na muna, mkaribia hui mama mse. Ili nae pia asikia pamba mbukua na nini, na furaie msaidie wakati inafasi, wakati wa shida na kuendelea pa moja. Ata wasena mengi, kwa nene sana. Sante sana, Jackson. Nataka gurugat, kwa wazi gurugat. Kula mze, mze wetu, gurugat. Ndi ya pa. Ayahnya nak berkata? Di tanda sasa vale watak kilinci ada brothers, masters, pada David. Kamu John Bed, kenyeri. Kamu Marta. Mena mau boleh dah. Betul. Mau boleh ni, ibu wajib buat tapi tu tengok boleh. Awak tu ambil mana mana nasi, so mungkin dalam bio ibu, albi ibu tu kau baju ni tu asal. John Bed, nanti kau akan lihat the brothers, brothers, the Bed, David. Thank you, program. And that you put to the party in the direct. Mr. Kurumungu, Kwa Kwa Nazi, that you could mungu, Kwa Fille Ametutendia, Mema, Tangu, Wakati, who you do go to, Aliaga, to Makuapa Nubai. Ah. Pili, nataka niseme, pole yangu inaenda kwa familia wa Esther kutoka ukambani. Pole yangu, yoni nasema kwamba, pole kwa kupoteza ango wenu, uh, michungu, Si kitu na furaia, ni nasema pole. 
pole yangu tena inaenda kwa familia wa James nasema pole mutia mama kap James kwa chumula ak karab tonu entugul akab segit kabisa kwa tugul amun David kogi lakwet ne ayep ki lakwet ne gimye ki lakwet ne bye bye enu tugul ole ngao amu ale pole kabisa mutia kabisa mutia mutia mu kogi bote saliman eh Tukki <laughs> And I'm more of a young poly. To my own to Relatives, all relatives, the same of poly. Poly, poly. Ah, Mungu Anajua Wakati. Tulisikia kutoka kitabu cha Genesis vile Mungu aliumba na nilikuwa mzuri na akaona it is something good. So I'm saying Esther tumesikia and still pad wangali we are to say from where we are now is of a kind that you join in and from where our brother has left you come in now as the widow, as the father. But in all, you have the husband, Jesus. Jesus is great and wonderful for you. So I think Utansa Amotansia, Palin to Guiso and Kwa Mepika, when the leche has, and the leche has Yako. What you have to get there is to get an increase in what you are supposed to be doing. Welcome, my daughter. We are saying, we are going to be a little bit more. We are going to be a little bit more. We are going to be a little Family, 
ko ngomi konyo ngalek cheuchu ko amwae mutyo awadenen kesa kamuktaindet eh kotokoloik ki kikure met en family ni kotonon jehova nenyon akokonech chamet kokonech chamet konyitech en chamet konyitech en tamirmiriet ne tilil nebo kaset ab biik kokonech kaset ab biik Mitene mochito. Alen amwae kongoi akamwae mutyo ko lesta na watoto wako. Mutyo misi. Mutyo. Tamen anyon ko inyon kayu anyoru tupcho ninyon ko tam ko baibai etkai tugul. Tam ko tinye baibaiyet kikinyi tupcho ninyon en tamirmiria ne tilil ne bo rirenet ab ke. Komangen any nguni ale ngwany wendi ngo akoger nafasi nebo tupchoni tam kotinye rirenet ab ke ngekwaka ko kakibwanga ketinye boiboiyet amun en inendet tinye rirenet ab ke chame kabisa tinye chomnyet ako ayet tam ko ayet ter chito ne ayet ko ayet en family nenyon kap keri so amwae mutyo mising ter ko ne tai ngikonde Alenen mutyo, mutyo ko nyon, ko ole sale, mutyo. Asome sale, mama ko kakoyosit, sirikyi mama. Mama kakoyosit, kakoyam kerib, kakoyam kimungsechi, en kabwatutik, memoe stress. Iger kenyisiek yu kane chikai nekit at kei sebendi ko mamoe stress, koni mama ne uni, memoe stress. On kerib, on kikoen kalye, ko ongoi misin, ko ole, rest in peace tu kienyo. Kukupi,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,mata,m
Pole potieruno. Pole tibi chombo potieruno. Ogot kot komanda bitani chepo cheruno. Lok ab cheruno. Ak lok ab ngo en rew. Ko pole sana. Kongo. Amaje chali 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 anga maget nyona. Wena. Neno kuko hapa ni pole. So to kiendele na program eh. I'm almost winding up with the issues of your family. I'm a chief from one end at the way it's a panty in a young maple. When you have a new one, I'm a boy, 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 Amache Nisanik, we think it will love you. You got good form. Do you manage a chair and offer to watch you? One to one. Well, you want to get into Maja kwa 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 Major David one boy we have been making two. Each egg to pull. We pick a boy and pull it. A boy and a girl to meet him. In your team, I go to our boy Nyongora. Your team, you go to Lakwe. I go to our boy Nyong. Go go non. Make it young girl. Make it more girl. Let it get pull. Make it some man go and die. Make it more Esther. Esther Kirui, please, for heaven's sake, we are requesting you be close to the family. The family loves you. And why am I saying so? I'm the one who came to Kitui with your father, the late James Rugut. We negotiated for dowry. We made arrangement for marriage in the house of John Mutinda, which me one. We did a very precious and very classic wedding for you and David. This is a situation, Esther. That you are seeing home here. My brother, the mother of them is very old. Just the way your mom is also very old. And I know you have the power, the capacity to handle those old people. I know you have a very beautiful home in Nairobi. But as well, rural home is also good. Can you try? Now, Google Go, please, for heaven's sake. So, the daughters of death, which you used to have the nickname in your dad, the direct room. I know you know that you are. When you used to stay together, then you used to say, get the direct room. And you are in the direct room. 
They must have come from some homes and they have ended up where they have gone. Even me, the daughter of this place, I took her from here. I got married. They, she belonged to me. She said, my home, and therefore, you belong here. You don't belong to Kitu. That is, with all sincerity, I love, we love you as the person who was from day one, from day one of your negotiation for you to be here. I was there. I know each and everything. Even when we were planning for your marriage, and we proposed Holy Trinity in the region, some senior personnel and senior dignitaries, including the late President Moy, was to attend. But unfortunately, something happened. She never attended. And that is why we fixed that child to be your marriage church. Holy Trinity in Gericho. In Kitui, you took us well. Your family gave us a very good cultural reception. Right from the time in Lovington, in the house of John Butinda. So, Esther, the family member of Kapchi Misara Brugul, be here frequently. I know you are a very busy lady. You have got a home in Nairobi, but maybe also a rural home. The rural home is, people say home is best. Your husband and you used to say Nairobi. We know you are a very good house. You have your very good house, but here we are. The rest of the point is home. Even you, if every, even everybody, please, for heaven's sake, Esther, you know me very well. We love you. The family loves you. Kap Segi too loves you. Everybody loves you. More so when we are celebrating, when you give back to three triplex. I got to the Kulambus, Kapisa, because you are a very strong lady. More than this other women around here. Three pieces of book. <laughs> and they are still there. In fact, with these mothers, they don't know those children. I wish they come here to be seen. These are the duplicate photocopy of them. Duplicate and photocopy. So, let me not have my gesture. You have been requested to be very close to home. This is your house. You started with your husband. It stole because of sickness. But I wonder, you are not sick. Come and put it up. Come and put it up. The daughters of this place, including my wife, they are praising their brother, David. Can that thing continue? Come and put up a magnificent house, just like that one in Nairobi. Put up this one. I know the plan right from the beginning, how you are planning. I don't know what, what wins this rope somewhere. Please correct it and take off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mama na wanakichichi. Kitu tunasema ni pole kwa David. 
hii ni siku yake ya mwisho na ondo pasta alisema sio mpango wa Mungu lakini nataka kusema kila mtu ako na siku yake kila kitu iko na siku yake there is time to to be born there is also time to leave this world so nataka tu kusema david was a friend more than even a relative he is my in law lakini tulikana e kwanza tulichelewa kwenda shule tulianza na e class moja in 1974 ukitoa 1974 from 1966 65 utaona ni miaka karibu tisa. so we went to school when we were late Nine years lakini it was because of the challenge kina Joel walikuwa wameenda shuleni na mimi nikakaa na David kwangu ni ngambo hiyo so tulikuwa tumeambiwa tuchunge wanyama wa pori yenye mahindi ilipopandwa hapa walikuwa wakitusumbua sana so wasasi walisema huyu akae pande hii na mimi nikakaa ngambo hii so we used to hata lunch atukukula lakini tulikula mahindi because there was no difference between the monkeys and those other animals from sisi wenye tulikula mahindi lakini tulichunga mahindi tukaenda baadaye tukasoma nae tukatairiwa nae kwetu nyumbani 1978 niko na ibinda hapa wameingia kwa wengi i think they will have time to be introduced na tukaenda tukasoma alipokuwa Nairobi alini host hata esta anachua hiyo wakati walikuja nyumbani tukapanda hiyo chai every day wakati alikuja hapa tukasaidiana na yeye na mimi najua ni hawa walikuwa watu wa bibi there are so many things i learned from them paka na esta hata esta alifumilia tukapanda hiyo mlima tukaenda kwetu kila wakati walipofika hapa jana aliniambia alishuka mara mara na akafika hapa na mungu so i know she is a strong lady given time and uh, the peace of mind uh, things will change sore kwa yale yamependeka and uh, nataka tu kusema although david ameenda mbeleni beleet hata nami nilikuwa na kazi kama hii lakini hao walinisaidia sana plus their relatives mutinda josephine sijui kama josephine ameingia oh josephine Oh thank you so much. Thank you so much. They hosted us when we had uh, my wife was sick at that time. Wali ni saidia sana. So I know sijui ni kitu gani but I know they will pick up and even their children. Nimeona hao. Wamekuwa wakubwa. So mwenyezi Mungu atawasaidia. Tutaendelea kusaidiana mimi niko hapa nyumbani kama kuna jambo tulikuwa na David last I think when we came and I realized one thing kuna marafiki lakini wengine marafiki wengi wanatoroka ukipotesa kazi wanatoroka ukikongeka wanatoroka but I think we said when he was said written alikuwa hapa na every sunday there was a huko nyumbani alikuwa inaniambia enda sana David tuliongea mingi and uh, i know that david was a hard working man so thank you so much although david has left us i know physically he has left but uh, my memories will remain in my heart or his memories will remain in my heart Thank you so much and be blessed. Asante sana.
Hola sana kakechuan. I know and I feel you. You were that close to the net baby. Koi na. Mama cha mama cha chang. Uam bichon ko ngalal tu ke bagas kito. Kage mwagi ne kubare. Angi liya seta. Nonge onda seta nera. Oh ni ulwe dira. Asante sana. So kama kurupu na seta ni apa katika desi kata onda kalle. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Nikienda kumalizia pande ya familia. Ama chiki tiko telelia pa mungu wa kitu wa jamburi ya tebe tine. Eni ni telelia seno. Simama tu na uwezi. Nina juwa muwezi ya ungea ni sawa. Asante ni kwa hile kasi mulipanya. Kanya shimikiweni. Eze. Kwa mwega ni. Maika. Nidi kiki kimo ten maho. Berapa bincang kau buat nih? Ya, aku segera cai je. Angge cai aku dah. Okay. Entah kami nak tak tahu dengan ini tapi kalau tamge, tamge kau masih. Tamge ni tu. Kalau dia nak ugu poli, ni ni poli ada. Poli yang pagi yang pagi tu, poli yang kafe lagi. Mungkin tu yang kalau dia angkut bawa bawa lagi tu kalau dia poli, poli. Eh, ada ni nak nak ni ni poli apa sah? Poli. Kau boleh mesin. Mereka kita orang cuma nak kasih dengan orang yang nasir dia kerja kini orang kerja yang bawa dia ICS ni bawa dia kerja apa mili ya, yang bawa dia ni bawa guru, alam muda mesin, katai pola guru guru jangan, guru nama dia mana amat dah, orang ini. Orang ini mesin, ama orang ni lepas kaya na, negit kat terat side nego family, so nyo yung angkat to tumo is tibi ka lagi. I want to give special thanks to some young men here. As most of you are aware, David Amebukua, who is a representative. He wrote here for Numa. But David, I think my voice is here. Ibu yang kayu, bawa kasing grab. So guna bijana, walisai dia David, wakaribu sana, walika nae, wakaribu sana, nawa kumwaja David, mpaka siku yake amata gika yake amishi. Mkependa tu washukuru sama wa familia, maje Brian. Dennis, aku on the way. Aku me driver. Ini baru Wesley. 
Wesley ni mtu akuchoka akitembea David kwa kila hospitali. Ningemuita usiku atakuwa tunamlipa sana lakini mimi ndio tunigie shabana na anga tarai moyo ni Wesley tumtembea hata kuna wakati damu ilikuwa inatakikana kwa darura ukajiangalia wengine wakatoa kama familia wale tulikuwa hapo tukakosa find moja ile mtu alitolea kutusaidia ni wewe basi ambaye alikuwa trailer wa Kenya so tunakushukuru sana sisi kama familia hatuna kitu ya kupatia hivyo sana lakini Mungu akuongoze kae na hiyo roho kaa karibu na hii familia Mungu akusaidie so kwa wow, vijana This guy is staying very close to the late David. The last one month before David Avariki, Ugiya was bedridden and he was unable to walk. Personally, I was here less than a week before he passed on. We talk at length. I think I'll say that later on. Lakini wale watu walikuwa wanatoa David ndani kwa sababu angetembea nyaa vijana. Hawakuchoka. Tulimnyima, tuliwanyima. The social life ile ya vijana jioni wameenda wanatembea na wenzao. But these guys we really hold them. They dedicated they are time to take care of the young so to know shukur amache from what maybe you have something small to say about your uncle daktar nam ya kwanza ndaka ni sana pole for my dad okay pole 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 nam daktar Paul First I want to thank God for having stood with us up to this far Much has been said about our late father David Kirui He was humble and respected everyone whom we met especially in various hospitals I want to thank my brothers whom every time wherever David was they met sure that he was with at least one of them if not all of them especially in serious hospital i also thank david driver was mutai who became our brother during our hard times he could wake up as early as 4 am to make sure david gets to hospital on time also i would like to thank mom esther because every time we were in hospital she made sure that the hospital bill was facilitated on time and also called every time asking how David Health was doing. I will not forget to thank Dr. Javed Terer, who made sure that we always had a good stay in Kisumu. The last day was on 17 August, where we took David to Akakan Hospital. I remember this, he just told the doctor that this time, don't admit me for so long. We did not know that it was his last day. Rest in peace, Kevin. Hola, Sana. Hola, Sana, Paul. Teacher, I'm watching him very closely. Actor. I'm a Jane. Brian. From what? And I'm going to give me to one until the last breath. Na kwa mwewe sili kwa rao? Inasema tu ole kwa tebe. Asante. Asante sana. Gurole na tamai kwa nyo dinatireu. 
Kuna Leonard ambaye ni maid ya mama hapa nyumbani. Our house manager. Leonard ni mwalimu tenge. Ile miaka ya Joseph. Hapo baba David. Leonard always made sure that there was food on time for David who was not feeling well. She did something 10 o'clock. See, she made sure she did something maybe by 4 o'clock or even supper. Kuna kushukuru sana Lena. Asante sana. Kama Lena karo. Lena da amma cha trot ye tale le sa che che. Le boy amma cha le pole te. Pole ga sa. Pole yu. Mama te cho ba yu. Mama te cho ba ga sa. Mi cho ba ko bote. Pole nje to ga pesa. Ki ma kini te bitem ya che. Lagi ne sa nyu na so me nyu ki tilgi te bitem ngone da na ki gas. Ki tilgi. Ki si. Mawa te bit ko 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 ki gas ki ngwa no ki si ki cham je isu. Ki na ki te ba te mu le da nyu ni ko ki ga si cho ba. Sa nyu na so me nyu na da yu. Me i me nge. Le nyu ba ko da tun je ta ko mi e mo si bi da so ba. A ko bu re nga le ang mi e nda. Ki bu re to ko. Ni ki si nyu na je ko ki nyu na ra wa ni e fi si ti yu. O ma me te cho ba ka sa. Ma me te cho ba. Ki mi ki mi a mi ba ba te nga ba sa ma me te ki mi te nda wa. Ale ni tuwa ak tuk cho shek ap tebit pole ni sana la ak ap tebit pole pole asta pole ki sa chini tebit ko ile mi ak ki ilke nga ni ata ap cho ba ko tore te cho ba su tu nge tu yen ki sengwe tebit ko ki na mi te no ko yin ki nya ki ta nyun te no ko le le tebit le ne ale ma ti no ta le ni tebit ami se pita le le ne chabu a ma ya te na ko yok te ki to chabu a ma ya te la ni ko ko la ngati i chabu ko ngi ta ke a go nek ta ni ma le nya mi te no go nek ta ni ne mi ga le julli nga ne mi ga o julli ra ne chabe la nja na sapa ko le an julli a le julli ga gile ko chabu an gulle la gine gi wa program go mi a go ki ya cho ba chem nya che e se cho ba ki mungi e mo ne ne ke ge a go gas e le mungi jo ba che ngeti oti a go ba i che so gi ti oti ko ngo cho ba ko ngo e ndugo tugo gile che a cha kem nya che ne go ge mo si jo ba ko ngo Ma to nge ri chinda to nge le njo ba ya cham nya sha ak to nge tu ye ngip sengwe ko ngoi Asante sana Linet Ko mfupi Linet an liko na jaribu ku parinchi mama baya na kana he akamwambia mama atulie unde ro na ajue hata ingawa David ametoka naondoka bado ataendelea kukaa na he ametuambia vile alikuwa anamlisha ile David angeitisha ile kitu anasikia kukula so simu yake ilikuwa kwa Linet tunashukuru sana Linet so tukiendelea kama je wacha Brian amalize alafu tuende kwa pengine Lena kwa mara baadhi tu kwenye mimi ni kwa mara baadhi. Eh, tayari pili. Niki putoa nani kuita kwenye tenge ni kuko kuko kwenye neta nchini sana ndege ni kwa kile on damu mami tia kwa kana kata risi kula kwa kile onwe ano kufuli nene damu mami tia kwa mami tia kana toka kutoa kiasi kwa kwa pole na onwe hizo mani kile onwe kutoa nene. Kita bertuan sebentar di agak agak zoom. Three weeks, dah boleh nampak three weeks. Kita buangkan. Kita nanti kita buangkan two weeks. Aik, kita buang. Kita nanti nanti zoom. Oh, oh, mau buangkan two weeks. Tali ambiwa, warudi nyumbani for two weeks. Asal eh, dia warudi ke zoom agak agak. Saya ingat back two weeks. Two weeks agak tipu tipu isha. Aik, kita buangkan ke zoom nanda. Wakarudi pale kizumu. Saige kingo ikole nita kitari gati mita nenenda. Wakati daktari ya limuambia hata baki hospitalini. Sato kibu tuan. Aki nenda. Aka baki, aka amua, niye hata baki na maremu. Kingo unguna na mamangi. Nage kos the last things. Teki mwa kebiti. 
sasa anaenda kuongea maongeo ambaye waliongea na David before age ngomwele karibu alikuwa anaangaliliwa maneno ya pressure sukari wakati daktari aliondoka akamwambia daktari tabadhali anangependa apewe maji Yeye alikuwa kando kwa kiti hapo karibu na kitanda yake. Daktari akampatia yeye rusa, ampatie maji kwa sababu maji alikuwa amenyimwa na daktari badeleni hapo. Wakati alianza kupatia hiyo maji ambayo ilikuwa maji ilikuwa inapigwa na daktari akapatia yeye akakunywa glass have a glass alafu akaanza ni kama mwili yake imebadilika saat mmoja tukin daktari yeye pia akaokopa akaita daktari madaktari kama sita wakakimbia hapo mahali David alikuwa wakajaribu kumsaidia lakini ni kama haikuwezekana mpaka hapo hiyo ndio angependa kusema tu kwa David amemwambia alala salama pole sana friend Eh. Kuna mtu tungependa pia kurudia shia eh shukrani eh. Baba ichave tere. Jafet was the host to the family members. Every time at the end hiyo kitumu aliahikisha ya kwamba familia na vijana wamepata mali ya kulala. Ungependa kuchukua fursa hii kwa niaba ya familia yangu kwa niaba ya familia yetu ya Robot kusema pole sana kwa kupoteza mlinzi David. Na kwa kusema kweli tangu David awe mgonjwa na what we did
is also because of what of the love the children had for for their father what to do it you open the you open the and then mama when you need to toilet karibu ni nyumbani hapa anytime feel most welcome at home right kufikia hapo nataka tuniseme for the organization that chemeji uh, tumeshinda kufanya kazi and as a family we really want to thank you we really want to thank you and as you go back please take our message back david i was just explaining the package that you give probably last year it will cost around half the king and the king you are being paid by you Ndege kutoka 
alikuwa apeletwa tena kristo kamian vitu kama hata mtaenda na msilwa akikawa mwili kamsiki akakeuka wakaenda salon kuinga salon akifika salon kwa mitenes for 11 days akawa admitted for 11 days aye refare na kwa na ta hospital for 12 days aka pelekwa facility kingine pia for another 12 days kwa ta hii mara hii na iko na hii iko kuinga tuna wakitoka huko kalenja andika hii Mohamed na wale na wale Mohamed wakaambiana David siwezi kukuaja yeye pia kama hii David aisi mwaja kiki budeni hata kwa bidu ni kitu cha jana akawa ni church kinyo alwa wega si alikuwa ni church David akaniambia matiwe akaniambia akae na yeye atiende kazi nikaomba wiki moja akaomba rusa kwa matajiri wake wiki moja nikafunza hiki jana Brian, Brian. 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 how to handle David because handling your David because of this condition was special so it required to meet him when I left you know look at the death that we are like a little bit of 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 a kwa sababu yeye ambaye ni daktari alimfunza Brian. So I think of all my brothers. Ya marudisha asante brothers wote wote. Mama mimi wetu ni kitu ya kile mtarati ndani. Hawakuchoka ama kusimsia kumsaidia David. Let me go to one. Anasema pole kwa sababu. Asante sana. So this is the the other family members from the side ya Esther. So Esther huko na mabati yako utaambia baadaye. So this is the group. Okay, the group and then that. Okay. Baadaye kwa majina naitwa Kitili. Kutoka Kitui Uh, Esther ndada dadangu tuseme David Kirui ameona dadangu. Huyu ndio mkubwa habibi ya Kirui. Kwa hiyo Kirui Kirui nilikuwa namjua vizuri sana. Kwa tunaijuana ongea mambo mengi. Kulingana na vile umesikia umeongea umeongea maneno mengi sana. Mazuri na ya ku ya kujenga. Lakini sitaki kuingilia hiyo sana. Kwa hivyo mimi naweza kusema Kirui ni shemeki yangu lakini alikuwa rafiki yangu mkubwa sana. Kwa hivyo mimi nimeachwa na na rafiki yangu. Sina mengine naweza kuonea. Habarieni. Kwa majina naitwa Anjoel Wambua. Joel Wambua mimi ni ni brother wa, wa Esther. Mimi ndio nafuata Esther. Na Kirui wakati alioa sister yangu tu, tulikuwa marafiki na amekuwa mtu mzuri sana. Amekuwa tukiongea na ye na ni mtu mzuri ana matarao yote mtu alikuwa na to respect na alikuwa mtu mzuri so ile kitu tu naweza sema tu ile maneno umesema hapa tumesikia na sisi tumekuja kutoka kitui ni mbali sana tukikuja jana na tukafika sasa ile kitu iko nitawa introduce kwa hao watu yetu ndio mwajue Nikianzia huyo hapo left pale huyo ni ni bibi ya kasimi yangu Bwana yake ni kasimi yangu lakini late huyo anafuata hapa wa pili ndio mama yetu anaitwa Hana Maya Abua huyo ndiye ambeto sana Ningekuja huyo wa tatu naye ni aunt yetu 
amezaliwa pamoja na mama yangu wanakanga watua wawili wanapendana haya watatu si ata mnamjua lakini ataongea atanjiduce haya nikikuja kwa huyu mwingine huyu naye ni fisani anaitwa Josephine Siovata Mwakali huyu ndio kitinda mimba wetu ya mama yule huyu ndio alifunga kila kitu hakuna mtu mwingine alitoka sasa ukienda hapo nyuma kuna huyu kijana kwa hapa huyu kijana naye ni mtoto wa huyu sister yangu anaitwa Kisedi haya huyu msichana naye kwa hapa pia ni msichana huyu sister yangu ndogo anaitwa Lewa haya tukienda laini ya mwisho huko kuna kijana mwingine pia ni kasimu yetu anaitwa Zomo na huyu ni mwingine pia na huyu madam wa papa ni bibi ya mtoto wangu huyu na yule naye ni mtoto wa huyu mtoto wangu na huyu pia ni mtoto wa mtoto wangu sasa kile mmetuona hivi si ndio tuweza kuja huko lakini ni baada kuja huko lakini kile kitu nasema ni pole pole kwa familia ya David Kirui pole kwa familia ya Rungu de Saul tunasema pole na Mungu amemweka mali tena sepole. Sasa ndivi. Kuna kitu nimesahau ambaye ni mzuri ni niseme. Hii mama yangu amesema anataka kutoa testimony. Kwa sani ni low kwa sababu yeye ana nguvu ya kuongea akaniambia nisome hii na niandikwa kizungu so anasema hivi hai ah ni majawambua david kirui was my son in law and i loved him very much he also loved me like i was his own mother i could not speak in kiswahili or in english but he used to explain to me everything in kiswahili and you i understand i also explained to him using kikamba till we reach the conclusion of our conversation since god loved him so much let him rest in so is so in a time of peace amen kwa ufupi anasema yeye aji kuongea kiswahili aji kuongea kizungu Kirui naye ajui kikamba lakini walikuwa wanaongea na wanaeleana. Kirui anamwongelesha Kiswahili, mama anamwongelesha kikamba. Lakini aeleana. Hata wakati mwingine walikuwa wanaongea nikiwa karibu. Nauliza Kirui, sasa mmeelewa vile amesema anaongea kikamba na sasa yani amesema hivi na hivi. Kama eh kweli. So alikuwa amejua. So ndio mama akasema waje hata huyu ushahidi kwa mtoto wake. Asante. Asante sana John na family nzima ya dewambua Tulonat na tumewakaribisha sana So itarudi the program eh? ngo family Ningependa kuchukua fursa huu pia Nichukuru kila mtu ambaye ameweza kufika hapa Haraka nichukuru mama wetu Sibora Huyu Sibora mnamuona hapa Kola zartani gini ya David na kwa hivyo. Maangat maaman ni wana ya David. Kini ya David, kini ya shik, kisi ya tama nagi. Na wabiru wa tama natu na tama nangu hiyo. Kwe za ungo wa nita. Hauku choka, ukiangalia hafi ya David. Ulitembea na ye kila hospitali, kuna shikuru sana. Friends, jebo David, whatever we called on you, you are always with us. I remember even the last time we did a mini fundraising here, we tried reaching on all the friends, the family members, because uh, David had uh, exhaust his medical cover. Na ilikuwa mgumu kwa sababu mwanene ya dialysis, alikuwa naenda twice a week, na kienda session moja ilikuwa inachukua kama 20,000. So we called on friends, and mwje tusaidia, tunawashikuru sana. Esther, Tumejiangu, 
Atuwezi sahau kugurudishia asante. Kwa watu wengi kitu wa mjui. David hata kuishi kutembea hizo hospitali zote tunaongelelea ni kwa sababu Esther alikuwa anafanya kazi. Esther angeacha hiyo kazi David angeweza kwenda Galilaya. So lazima turudishie nini? Asante. Ama namna gani? So nikienda kumalizia Queen ah vijana Mtiende mbali na ile kazi mlikuwa mnaendelea kufanya vizuri. Esta akifika hapa nyumbani. Kijaribu kukaa kwa amani. Watu wengi wamenena. That we are preaching for peace. Let there be peace in this family from now and forth. Esther ameambiwa vizuri, amekaribishwa hapa. Akuje aweke poma. Hata imesemekana kuna nini foundation imetengenezwa hapa. Niko mchoraji alijora hii nyumba ataongea kidogo. So Esther feel free bring your kids closer to the family. Mimi kitu naweza sema kwa ufupi na kwa roho yangu. I came here about 5 days or 7 days before the first one. Na nilikuja na huyu mama, mama wangu mzazi. Tuliketi hapo nje. Ukauliza David swali kadhaa. Swali ya kwanza ilikuwa juu ya watoto. Lakini tunataka kusema ile David alitiku kwa mdomo yake. Aliniahikishia mbele ya mama akimwambia mama yeye kulingana na yeye kuna watoto waine. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll interrupt a bit. Eh? We have a sister who is calling from South Africa, and she would like to say, Olesake. Na kwa sababu ya mpua, itajaribu kuwa fupi, kabisa, uweza ganavi. So Sara is one of the family members in one of the Yeah, we got I just want us to say, um, when people are like this, we just thank God for everything. The one who kept him for all these years. So that's when we say, God has given us with this one. And God will give you as well. He will give you such an energy. You will have told you with this Victoria. And uh, the way you want that face, I wonder if you have to start off with the so to the end of the day, I'll tell you my last question, David. David, keep what you told me about what happened. I got it to be Lisa to go to our mother. David, I got what you did here. Yeah, you can get on my yeah. What to talk about, what to 
kwanza anaitwa Jela Emo Adogo na Jebet That is what David said that his family is intact contrary to what most of the members who are thinking family ya yeah, David iko intact na kulingana na David bila tuhakikishia ni kwamba watoto wake wanaendelea vizuri he even talked about one occasion where we had a fundraising i can praise the girls the way they raised some funds for him ndio aweze kupata hiyo notification ya dialysis baba yenu aliwashukuru sana alisema vizuri bila napenda watoto wake Esther when the mother asked akasema Esther pia anaendelea vizuri bibi yake yako sawa ni kazi imemsidia Nairobi lakini walikuwa na wasiliana kila asubuhi akiamka akilala so tunashukuru kwa haya so sikigere the program i want to give a chance to the immediate family that is Esther na watoto wake waje hapa mbele nataka mkuja hapa mbele tafadhali just get some strength kidogo ndio tupungie sherehe kwa pande ya family i know the kids must be having a small tribute in the drink group you don't mind lakini yote tunasema ni pole pole ni pole ni pole ni sana so i don't know we'll start you Why start with uh, the kids a lot of mama and mama Mine is a small uh, tribute and it says dear daddy dear daddy I wrote a tribute to my dad to my loving dad love leaves a memory no one can steal but death leaves a memory no one can heal <laughs> my dad passed away last week on Wednesday it hurt most most that you were supposed to come visit you on Friday but God had other plans I didn't know it would come so soon I was hoping that I'd have at least said my goodbyes but God plan is always the best. I take comfort in knowing that my dad is no longer in pain. That suffering is no longer something he has to endure. A thousand words would bring you back. I know because I've tried neither with a thousand tears. I know because I've cried. I don't know where I don't know when but I know we'll meet again. My dad Mr. David Kirui will forever be in my heart until the day it stops beating. Rest in peace dad. I love you from your daughter Kadogo. Hola sana Kadogo. Hola sana. Just try and teach Rachel. To my father from my mom. My father he was an amazing father to me and my siblings. I will always cherish all the wonderful memories. I know you're watching over all of us. You brought us up to to be disciplined, respectful, kind, loving and generous women. We will all miss you terribly. I don't have much to say than if you will still be here. I will hug you so hard and never let go and tell you how much I love you. You are such a fighter. Rest now, daddy. Hola, hola, son. 
Dear Daddy, I'm sad. I'm saddened that death took you away. But God said in all things we should give him thanks. I still cannot believe that you've left us. We will always remember and love you. You have left a big void in our lives, and life will never be the same again. You will always be in our thoughts, prayers, and in our hearts. We will never forget you, and you always remain our daddy. You will always remain our dear daddy. Your death has left a scar in our hearts, but your legacy will still stand in our life. In our lives, we miss you, Daddy. Safiri Salama to Tonana Badai to Nakupenda. Follow son, said David. Is this wrong? So, my dad was a star in my life. Although we had short time, but I'll always remember him. And uh, he always has a place in my heart. Each day, none can replace it. Dad, I want to assure you, I'll make you proud. Thank you. I'll, I'll make you proud and I'll ensure that Okay. 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 I'll take care of my six thousand. You're going to give us some time to relax a bit. Come, come. It's okay. Just read the uh, read through. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll do this on behalf of all my sisters. This is what we wrote to our dad. It is sad to know that dad you have left us, but again, it is a loving memory for us when you think about your life and all that you did for us in the short time we spent together. The good memories remain with us forever because of the positive impact, love, discipline, and many other attributes that you installed in our lives. Your memory will not die in us, Dad. You are in our hearts and forever in our spirits. We will always love you and miss you, Dad. May your heart rest easy, Dad. From your loving daughters, Shela, Kadogo, Memo, and Toto. Thank you. The best. Um, Dad, I'll make sure I take care of mom. You make <laughs> I think the message is uh, cotton. She's saying she will take care of the mom and all her sisters. And may you rest in peace. I know I never lost somebody like It's okay. He's wishing the father to rest in peace. This is a really loud. And God is good, and all the time, God is good. My name is Josephine Siobata Wambua. I'm a sister to Esther, and uh, I've written something small here for my brother. Today, I stand before you all to thank God for giving us a great son, a man with the greatest and the most beautiful art uh, for the period that he did. 
I today mourn the loss of my brother, but I also celebrate the most incredible and precious life. I choose not to ask God why. I don't want to ask God any questions. Baba Chela opened the doors of his home with Esther, together with Esther, for me. They loved me, and I and I got a father that I'd lost a long time ago. David, you loved me. You loved me as your own daughter. You treated me with fairness when I lived with you. You guided me through my education in the university. You gave me your finances. You gave me food. And most of all, you loved me. I will forever be grateful. Kwa wale tulish kwa Esther na David, ata mpaka wa leo na shanga vile walikana wali, wali sisi. David na Esther tulika watu wengi hapa sana. Kina Charles, kina Joseph, kina Anne. We were so many. At any given time, we were more than six visitors. David ulitupenda. Ulitupatia sisi sote na fasi. Ulitu, kama mimi na, na kumbuka siku ya nye nilikuwa na apply for loan. Ul, the way you guided me. Vile uliniandika ni iseme ni metoka ukambani. Na vile hata huko tunafanya kazi ya, ku, 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 ya makaa ya kuchoma makaa which is ilingo ndio tukuje kupata ndio tukuje nipate hiyo loan na mpaka nikapewa basari sababu ya maneno yenye uvini guide mpaka nikapata siku zote nda nitaishi kukushukuru tulikuwa tunakuja huko national housing kwa sisa angu kwa David alikuwa mkubwa tulienda kuishi kwa tulingia kwa ofisi yake tulifurai Tulipenda kuenda kwa National Housing kukunye hiyo chai. Tukitoka college. Asande National Housing. Asande David. Lala salama, my brother. I will miss you dearly. But I will always see you in the four daughters. Who are... In your four beautiful daughters. Who, are, who, who you have left behind. And who are you are. Um, just a photocopy of you. Tuseme kwa roho, wako na roho yako kabisa. Tukifika kwa hiyo nyumba hata mpaka leo, Esther na watoto wake wanatukaribisha. David ulitukaribisha kabisa. Tuna kushukuru. I'm so sad today that I never got the chance to come back and tell David thank you. Lakini siku zote nitaishi kukuombea David. Asande sana kwa yote uliotufanyia. Thank you. Please, I pray that you rest well till we meet again. Amen. Nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kwa shukuru nyinyi nyote vile umekuja hapa kutupea support mimi hapa nitaongea tu about one david that i know i'll talk about one aspect of david david was a very, very loving husband. That is for sure. When I was, going, when I was carrying the, the multiple pregnancy, wakati kwa nimebeba hii watoto watatu, nilikuwa nga na changa moto mingi. David alisimama na mimi. 
huyo ndio David hapo kwa roho yangu na huyo ndio David nataka watoto wake wakuwa na mkumbuka na kumbuka David was a very intelligent man he was very 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 ambitious he was very very kind even as as recent as one week and a half just before he died kuna vitu ilipitia kwa akili yangu na kuna maswali nilijiuliza na nilijiuliza hivi Esther kuna kitu na sio mara ya, ya kwanza kujiuliza hiyo nilijiuliza hivi nigi nigi tabenga na ndata Unaweza kuoa David tena? David Mika search my heart. Kobun my brains. Nasikuona mwanaume mwingine. Despite and in spite Martin Kalyana Kalyana given a chance again ndagi gigochi nafasa ke I would marry David again kongi tatu ne David kara Tunaweza ongea mingi Mmoja ke ngalal chacha Si I cannot control your thoughts Ma muchi a biman alla a kongusan ko bodu tu I cannot control what you think about me Ma muchi and the same thing you cannot control what i think but deep deep in my heart i loved david deep deep in my heart i loved his family family People can say what they want to say. You may not understand. The situation. And you may not to understand. But David remained my husband. David ndagi teben geletes ngo na mache mae kama nachiko kenye koto chenge kora teben kwa sababu david mwenye ninajua ngamu teben ningen was the best man on earth ogi nende ogi gere kwa nende ne muren ne e ngwandu ndiki mogera ga and in fact abo kama sio sijui siwezi hiyo siwezi sema na sijui ni nini yenye likuja tomonge Irregardless of how many women David came across and by the way he came across many lagende ko matin ko giger ponyi galak tebet ko anyi giger jaja There was no woman that David loved like Esther ko mami age tugo ne gi cham ko yi gi cham Esther And you know abonge ne we know love David are my best friends biki gi cham tebet ko alikuwa anampenda ko gi joro no ki ginenda for different reasons so she that you you got to pata yeah you may not understand don't make judgment that is my request but david has died as my husband 
and I want to thank David's family. It's a loving family. It's a wonderful, loving family. A warm family. family. And I'm speaking from my heart. And if you ask my sister, you ask my friends, they will tell you. I have a very special place for David's family. It is because if it were not for this family, maybe I would not be remembering Kericho. But they have always been there. And I thank you so much. So many of them, William, William. I lived with you. I don't want to say this, but William, when I was expecting triplets, I was helpless and hopeless. Would you believe William that William would cook for me? Would you believe that David was washing my soft clothes? I thank the good family. They have been wonderful. When I am confused, and I can tell you, I used to get confused. I was going through depression. But this girl here, this is my very, very small sister. And there are many things we value in life. You may think we value in life. We may value money. We may value the many investments that we have. But you may not know me. My relationships are more important than the money that I, I may be having in the bank. Than the properties I may be having. That means nothing to me. My, I raised her in my house with David. As she said, when she was applying for her loan, and I was going to say, she loves David. Yes. And even David, when he got issues, you would go to her. And he he do whatever he wanted. At one time, she told me, if only David, if only David just lost his job, if only David, all he lacked was money, I would be put on the Unfortunately, because I can't say this, we may not understand. So, I want to thank the good family. Grace, Joseph, Joseph, I will always remember Andrew. I will sit with Andrew. Andrew, I
There are those who will not understand. Me, Jemma, let's go. What can you do? I can't go into everybody's. Mamma, just got that. I don't know. 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 I do I'm asking the fathers. Take that opportunity and raise a better daughter. Raise a better wife. But I did the best I knew how. My wish would have been if we lived together. And to my daughters, I love you. You have been the reason why I am where I am. She has been my anchor. She has stood with me. I, I can't explain. But what I'm telling you, whether I am alive, Oh, not alive. This woman, this woman should never sleep hungry, should never lack food, should never lack medicine, as long as you are alive. And it is because of that. I have watched for now it's approaching 30 years. Many times I used to feel because I loved him. Whether we could live together or not, it was a different thing. I don't know where you are placed in national housing. This is what I want to say to national housing. And I want to give message to the MDs representatives. Mr. Kaitan, when you go back, Call Mr. Ruiza. Thank him. When you go back, call Mr. Vera Bosile. Thank her. Call any of the judges of this woman. George, you are going through many issues with this treatment. George, speak with me. And the family. It's only the family, the, the, the James family, they understand what you are going to do. And you want to tell us already? Nakatipaidia Sana. Nakatipaidia Sana. Nanina Mishukuru. Ruiza, when David lost his, his, uh, his job, Kulikuwa na issues. Alikuwa na nyumba hapo moja, na nduka, and it was not possible. Na Ruiza akatusaidia. David. I don't have much time now to be with the national housing for But I used to say this. I used to go to Ogutu's office. Ananiambia. Ananisomea kwanza ni kingia hivi ananifaya. Namuande mekuja hapa kutetea ni miya ya David. Ananisomea, ananisomea. Lakini badaya ananiambia. I know what you are going through because I was raised by a single mother. I respect women who raise their children single-heartedly. And because of that, 
na tunamasikia tunafanya pamoja na sister yetu Esther Esther Hugo Oye mtio mimi pole sana of course you are part of us na sisi hauji we is uh, Joy was also part of us there is a former staff member also from this family ako asu hey. hey, 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 kwa majina naitwa Edna Mutoka kutoka Makweni kwa leo sana. Tamke tamke I never had a career from Baringo. Kwa majina ni James Mandere kutoka KC tunafanya na Esther Foreni bana kichichi. Foreni sana. Asante. Karibu tu kwa simu yangu kuri amu ni boy boy yuta ni. Kile ni pole sana. Praise God. Naitwa Miriam from National Housing Federation. Mungu asifiwe. Naitwa Christine Chasa. Nafanya na Esther. Na nasema ni pole kwa hii family. Na kitu moja tu nataka ku justify ni I think ni Joel brother yake alisema hapa. Nimeshai kwenda na Esther kwao na the late Kirui. Na vile Joel alisema Oko anaongea na mama, oko anasikizana na duka. But you could see the laugh. We stayed there for three days and I saw it. I testified. Asante Esther. Na shukuru. So, eh, uh, Nafiri, just, just uh, for the sake of uh, time, Zina anaitwa nani? <laughs> and it was David Nye, eh, Nye, Nye, no, Nye, no, Nye, no, David. Then uh, you also retired from NHC. And it was JC, we call him JC. He also retired from NHC. We are Naito of Banakoe, working with Kenya Railways, formerly at NHC. Who else have I left? Nobody. So this is the fraternity to talk national housing. To define a Pomoja and David. And what is Napanya? na Esther. I want to give a special word to Juan again, a same as to before I read the condolence from the MD National House. Uh, thank you, Keitan. Sata, kwa niti mwoma na fasi, kulikuwa na najwa David ya nikuwa mikuwa mgonjwa. So, kuna group ya marafiki ya David, tukili wasiliana na Terel, we formed a WhatsApp group. So, kuna marafiki wa metuma ramirami, na Remy alikuwa kwa hiyo group yetu. Eh, kwanza ni pia Sanford Chiruyo. Kuna Eric Corin, Seki Kenya, Ben Sam, eh, Joseph Corin is here. He was also in our group. Eh, we have Julius Kinget and uh, who else have I forgotten? That was a group that assisted to raise funds so that David can get treatment. The same group again, they helped us to raise funds for the funeral. Eh, I talked yesterday. David was very close to me. And Terrell had mentioned something which had requested Esther and the children in memory of David. In Yumba, mini Lichora, I'm an architect. Nekachorea David, David Akanza Yumba, Unaona Foundation, Imeka Lagini Kosawa. So Esther, ita sisi, kutakusa idea, kuinua in Yumba na watote yako. That one I can assure you. Alafu, Yumba na Rumu Mongia Tena, David alikuwa na mpango. He wanted to do an extension. Hizo zoto nilikuwa ni mesichora. So Esther, ita kupatizo documents to kill the Nairobi. Lakini hile kitu nataka tushukuru Esther. Esther alifanya kazi ya kasomu nisa watoki. Mesikia wameenda baka university. Single handedly. So let's thank Esther for that. Thank you. And uh, just quickly, we want to read the condolence from National Housing. My name is William Keitan, the Corporation Secretary, sitting here or standing here on behalf of the Managing Director of National Housing. And this is the condolence to Esther and the rest of the family. And this is what I read. 
to our colleague Esther Wambua Kirui and the entire Kirui's family. On behalf of the Board of Directors, Management, the entire staff of National Housing Corporation, and on my own behalf, I take this opportunity to pass our condolence to you, Esther Wambua Kirui, your children, your relatives, and friends for the loss of our beloved husband, your beloved husband, father and son respectively, the late of uh, respectively the late David Kirui, which will end with shock on 18th of August 2021. Mr. David Kirui worked with National Housing Corporation as the Chief Human Resource Officer until 30th July 2008. We thank the Almighty God for granting his family the love and ability to take care of him during his lifetime and particularly through this illness. At this dark moment in our lives, the entire family of National Housing Corporation shares in our grief and sorrow. We pray to the Almighty God, Lord of mercy and grace, to give you strength to bear this painful loss. May the Almighty God give you strength and rest Mr. David Kirui, soul in the turn of peace. Amen. Signed by Patrick Butcher, MBS, Acting Managing Director, National Housing Corporation. For Lenny Sana, because of time, to Nasema Pole. Just for your sake, your message is here. Thank you. Uh,
Asante sana mpaka mahali ambapo tumefika. E, nataka niweze ku kwa nafasi hii niulize jamii. Ah kwa kule ngo programa ni kama family. Raptere. Tere. 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 Kuna ne. Okay sawa sawa. So kwa sababu ya mvua naomba Paul Pierre aweze kusimama ili waweze kusaidia kubeba mwili tuelekee pale kaburini. Ah Okay, let's finish the program. 
Okay, I <laughs> 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 Manure, Thank you. 